Hey. Hey, baby, how you doing? Good, I didn't think you was coming. Yeah. I'm about to call Juice in Mini. You about to call Juice in Mini? Tell him you stood me up. <laughs> oh, well, you know I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't stand you up. I mean, no, we're morning so we can talk about our relationship. And although we made up, it's still a lot we need to talk about. Yeah, it's much, this is much better. Mm -hmm. this is a lot better. quieter. This drink is good. Yeah, we got some things we got to go over. So I need your undivided attention. All right. I'm glad to be back. You know, I'm glad we're working these things out. I'm glad you're back. I do love you a lot. I want you mm -hmm. to know that. I just was devastated with the ring situation. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I came to my senses when Juicy and Minnie came to the cafe. After seeing how upset I was because Morning walked out on me, Minnie and Juicy reached out to talk to him. Words can't explain how upset I was when she told me she lost that ring. She is devastated by it. Like, she's to the point now she's in a depression. I couldn't be more thankful that they reached out to him because it worked and we're finally talking again. I realized some things. People make mistakes, I understand things happen, so you know. But right. you have to be more responsible when it comes to important things, especially something like that. My hard efforts went down the drain. That's how I felt when you lost the ring, so. I know it, my, the mistake I made was a $3,500 mistake. I, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I was wrong, but yeah. at the same time, I was missing you, morning, and D2 ad came down, and, yeah. you know, you should have been there. Like, I want us to, you know, be in this together. He needs to see us together. All right, yeah. we're going we to move forward, we're but, forward. I mean, it's still one thing I need to tell you, something that I need to go on and get out so what? we can... You have, and you're not gonna really like this, what I'm about to tell you, but I mean, you, you gotta understand where I'm coming from on this. Okay, what is it? I mean, the, wet, the wedding is right now still off as of now. Still, one thing I need to tell you, something that I need to go on and get out. So what? we can, I mean, the, wet, the wedding is right now still off as of now. So I don't I just, agree with that. I really don't. I'm not, saying that like... I'm not saying in the future that it won't be a wedding. I'm just saying for right now, I just want us to, since we're just now working things I'm back out again. That, what you're saying, but I'm yeah. saying too, I feel like it still could be a wedding. Yeah, I just don't need that pressure right now. All I'm saying is if more people took the time to work on themselves like I'm trying to do with you, it you're wouldn't right. be so many people going through divorce. You're right. Yeah, so we're going to do this thing the right way. Okay. Mm -hmm. I understand where Morton's coming from, and he's right. We do need to work together and get back to where we were before. I really want to do something special for him and try to get things back on track. Take it day at a time, you know take what I'm saying? Take time. it from here. To taking it a day at a time. That's right, man. Day by day. All right. We're going to be good. <laughs> he right. is. All right. Hey, girl. What, today? Downtown? What time? 15. I'm on the phone. <laughs> when my mom got kicked out of her place and asked to move in for a couple of weeks, I agree. My mom's been here more than a couple of weeks, though, and it's time for me to have my own space. Really? What? Why are you interrupting me on my phone? Because I need to talk to you. About? I've been using the machine. How you feel? I feel like energized, like I'm not tired anymore, it works. You look refreshed. Yeah, like I got a glow daughter. I won't go that far. What other tea do you have? <laughs> Why are you so suspicious about it? Because everything? I know you, I gave birth to you and I know your every move. No, Yeah, you, you got something, yeah. No. Yeah. Are you I don't so know how to come, come to you about it. Come this. to me correct. I think it's time for you to move out. I got put out of my apartment. I am devastated. You understand? How long ago was that? I don't care how long it was. I need time to get my thoughts together, figure out what my next move is. How about two weeks? Two weeks what? Mama. Ashley, in six months, I'm, I'll... Six months? Yes, I feel that's enough time. I'm working. I got a lot on my mind. I love you, Mama, but I need my space. I done got my new place and it's all furnished. I'm ready to get turned up, so I'm gonna put my mama out. I knew she wasn't gonna take this well, but we're both adults. 
and she needs to understand where I'm coming from. I want independence and freedom. Like, you gonna get independence and freedom when I'm ready to go. I've been up under you for years. It's time. I feel like I'm gonna cry. Why? Because I feel like you just want me out, like you brushing me. How would I learn if I don't be on my own? I, I get it, I get it, I do. I'm glad my mom's starting to get it, but a part of me is really feeling bad about kicking her out. So I think I got an idea to soften the blow. Now that we got that out the way, how about we have the girls over and just have a party? So you basically what you're saying is you, you're celebrating me leaving. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch is out. <laughs> but it's going to be a celebration. Okay, I guess. We're going to have a, a good time. Your house looks so nice. Oh, my gosh. So, good. So, you want something to drink? I'm having the girls over to celebrate me finally living on my own. Asking my mom to move out was bittersweet, but I need my freedom. So, where are the other girls? Like, They're Tanya supposed to be coming, so I don't know. Do you want a tour of the house? Yeah. OK. Sorry for so many steps, but. That's OK. Need to work out anyways. But this is my room, ladies. Oh my gosh. How the wow. hell do you get up here? Let's Why roll. would you break up with Gary at a time like this? <laughs> I got all the space in the world to roll you over through that girl. <laughs> nice. Well, move over. Let's see if all of us can fit in there. Right. So I'm looking at mini bed like, all that space for just you? Whatever, girl. What is that, mini? This is my CPAP machine. So, how does it work? You do it like this, put it on like, like this. And then... You better be using it. I am. When I um, did the sleep study with it and I got the results, they told me that my oxygen level was raised and that I didn't have seizure activities anymore. This is my life now. Well, that's, that's good. good. Yeah. That is real good. Yeah. So I'm glad they gave you that machine. Uh -huh. yeah. to help you. Yeah. What's going on in here? Hey, mama. Hey. I see the party started without me. Hey. hey. You see what she doing? Got a bon voyage party. It's like you having a good time. No, this is for you, mom. And you as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's only good. Uh -uh. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm going down to get me something to drink. Okay. Since y'all done started without me. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I know my mom is still mad at me for telling her to move out, but she's gonna have to get over it eventually. She can't stay mad at me forever. So how did you feel when Minnie told you that you needed to move out? I felt like I was getting put out again. Mm. But I understand. Mm. It's just hard to let go. I'll be worried about her. What if she can't reach something? What if she needs me to get something off the top shelf? What if the CPAP machine don't work? My mom is my best friend, so I know it's going to be difficult for us living apart. But I think this is going to be good for the both of us. We each need to learn to stand on our own two feet. Didn't you invite Juicy and Tanya? Where they at? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. They didn't show up, so. I'm going to go you call Juicy and see what's going on. I don't okay. even know what's over Tanya, too. Girl, where are you? Why are you not here? No I didn't get no text from you that you wouldn't come in, so I feel set up here. Not only is Juicy not coming, but I gotta be the one to break the news to the group, and that's awkward. So what happened? And I called Juicy um, to see, because like you said, she was on her way. I thought she was on her way, too. She's not gonna come. Is her reasons made? 